In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on September 28, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Ohio State vs. Michigan State The third-ranked Ohio State Buckeyes are set to kick off their BIG-10 conference schedule this Saturday with a road game against the 3-1 Michigan State Spartans. Michigan State already holds a 1-0 record in BIG-10 play having narrowly edged out Maryland 27-24 earlier in the season. This will be the 14th consecutive season in which these two programs meet on the football field, with Michigan State last securing a victory back in 2015. In their most recent contest, Ohio State dominated the Spartans with a commanding 38-3 win. Despite some noticeable flaws, Michigan State is a solid football team overall. However, they might have to reconsider their quarterback situation if Chiles continues to struggle with turnovers. That said, I expect him to handle the ball more efficiently in this game, while their stout defense should help keep the Spartans competitive. While Ohio State certainly looks formidable, having proven themselves as one of the top teams in the country, it's worth noting that their early season schedule has been relatively easy. Michigan State, after securing some strong recruiting classes, is poised to become a serious contender in the near future, possibly next season or the one after. Head coach Smith has this team on the right track, and it all begins with putting up a strong fight at home against the third round. Buckeyes. I gave serious thought to taking Michigan State and the points because, although their offense has struggled, this is still a physical team with a solid defense. Moreover, this matchup is a rivalry, which often brings out the best in teams. However, the reality is that Ohio State has dominated this series recently, winning the last eight games outright and covering the spread in seven of those matchups. In six of those games, Ohio State was favored by 20 or more points. The Buckeyes' offensive firepower is simply on another level, and they tend to break games wide open at some point. With Ohio State covering four of their last six games when favored by 20 or more points, the Michigan State to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Ohio State enters this matchup riding high after three dominant victories to start the season. However, this will undoubtedly be their toughest test yet, and it comes on the road. Michigan State has been competitive this season but has been plagued by turnovers, which could prove costly against a team of Ohio State's caliber. If the Spartans want to keep this game close, Chili's will need to significantly improve his ball security. While I do expect Michigan State's offense to move the ball fairly well against the Buckeyes' defense, I don't see how they will be able to consistently stop Ohio State's high-powered offense. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Georgia vs. Alabama For the first time since 2020, the Georgia Bulldogs and Alabama Crimson Tide will meet in a matchup that does not have the Southeastern Conference title or national championship on the line when they face off this Saturday in Tuscaloosa. Both teams come into the game undefeated at 3-0, with Georgia ranked second in the nation and Alabama holding the fourth spot. These two powerhouse programs have combined to win an impressive seven national championships since 2010. Although this game won't determine a title directly, it could very well provide one team with a crucial advantage as the college football playoffs approach. Historically, Alabama has dominated this matchup, winning eight of the last nine meetings between the two schools and outscoring their first three opponents this season by a combined 147-26. However, this will mark the first top 25 matchup of the Kalen DeBoer era for Alabama, and all eight of the recent wins over Georgia were under Nick Saban's leadership. Georgia, coached by Kirby Smart, brings a battle-hardened defense and a well-rounded offense into the game. The Bulldogs have shown they can win close games and deliver in high-pressure moments. Alabama's quarterback, Jalen Milrow, poses a significant challenge with his dual-threat ability, but Georgia's linebackers have the speed to contain him forcing him into more of a pocket passer role. Turnovers are expected to play a pivotal role in this game, and Georgia has the edge in that department, ranking 17th nationally in turnover margin compared to Alabama's 65th. 
Another key factor will be offensive efficiency, particularly in the red zone. Georgia is currently ranked number one in red zone efficiency, while Alabama has struggled at times, sitting at 87th in the same category. This game is also notable because it marks the first time since November 2007 that Alabama will enter a home game as the underdog when they faced LSU. That fact alone makes Alabama tempting to bet on, as it's a rare situation for the Crimson Tide. Nevertheless, Georgia seems to inspire more confidence with its sharper defense and more balanced defense. Alabama's run defense has been inconsistent through the first few games, and that's a legitimate concern heading into this matchup. Until proven otherwise, Georgia remains the best team in the country, and the current betting line seems favorable for those backing the Bulldogs. Despite the challenges of playing in a hostile road environment, Georgia has won an impressive 42 consecutive Southeastern Conference regular season games and brings a formidable defense, an experienced quarterback, and a seasoned coaching staff to this crucial contest. Given these factors, the Georgia Bulldogs to win and cover the spread as the favorites is our full game side pick. Against lesser opponents, Alabama has showcased its ability to generate explosive plays. However, Georgia's defense has been equally elite in limiting those explosive opportunities from their opposition. The Bulldogs have allowed only two plays of 20 yards or more through their first three games, and this includes games against two Power 5 conference opponents. Alabama, for its part, has also been effective in stifling explosive plays, allowing just three plays of 20 yards or more. Both teams' defenses have been particularly strong in non-garbage time situations, allowing fewer than two points per opponent scoring opportunity. This suggests that many possessions in this game could end in either turnovers on downs or field goal attempts, rather than touchdowns. In addition to the expected defensive battle, the pace of play will also be a critical factor. Georgia has been one of the most methodical offenses in the nation this season, ranking near the bottom in plays per game and seconds per play against football bowl subdivision opponents. Surprisingly, Alabama has not been playing at a much faster pace than Georgia, despite what their higher scoring games might suggest. The Crimson Tide rank 86th in plays per game and 72nd in seconds per play. In last season's Southeastern Conference Championship matchup, the two teams combined for 52 points, coming in under the projected total of 53 and a half points. There are still lingering questions about the potency of Georgia's offense, especially after their close call against Kentucky. Facing a stout Alabama defense this week may not provide the clearest answer either, as Georgia will likely struggle in the passing game forcing them to focus on the run, which will keep the clock moving. Georgia's defense should be able to stifle Alabama's offensive attack more effectively than previous teams have this season. Look for the Bulldogs to apply pressure on Milrow, aiming to make him pay for last season's performance. This game is likely to start slowly as both teams feel each other out in the early stages. Given that the last two meetings between these teams have hit the under, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Illinois versus Penn State. As we head into the fifth week of the college football season, fans can expect another exciting lineup of matchups. Today's focus will be on an intriguing Big Ten showdown between the Illinois Fighting Alini and the Penn State Nittany Lions. Both teams come into Saturday night's contest undefeated, with each holding national rankings, making this a game that has garnered significant attention. The stakes are high, and both teams will be looking to make a statement as they continue their strong seasons. On paper, the Penn State Nittany Lions appear to be the more talented team, especially with the advantage of playing at home. However, the point spread for this game seems quite steep. The Illinois Fighting Alini have performed exceptionally well through their first four games, showcasing strong defensive play and solid contributions from their quarterback. Illinois has already pulled off some impressive upsets, including a win over Kansas as a five-point underdog and a road victory against Nebraska despite being a nine-and-a-half-point underdog. While oddsmakers may be skeptical of Illinois' recent success, I've been impressed with their performances and have personally profited by betting on them this season. It's widely known that playing in Happy Valley is a tough challenge for any opponent, but Illinois presents a stronger test than usual for Penn State. While I wouldn't place the Fighting Alini on the same level as powerhouse programs like Ohio State or Oregon, they are certainly capable of putting up a fight. Asking Penn State to cover such a large spread on the road seems like a tall order. Illinois boasts a solid defense that will likely apply pressure on Penn State quarterback Drew Aller throughout the game. Meanwhile, Illinois quarterback Luke Altmaier has been making smart decisions and avoiding costly mistakes, which could keep this contest closer than expected. I understand why Penn State is favored to win at home, but the spread feels excessive, especially given that they recently played two Mid-American Conference teams and came dangerously close to losing one of those matchups. 
matchups against Bowling Green. On the other hand, Illinois has been gaining momentum, particularly after going into Nebraska and upsetting the Cornhuskers. There's definite value in backing the Fighting Alini with the points in this one, as I believe Penn State will ultimately win the game by a score of 34-21. For this reason, the Illinois Fighting Alini to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Offensively, Penn State has been nothing short of a powerhouse this season and there's no indication that they'll be slowing down anytime soon. The Nittany Lions are currently averaging an impressive 41 points per game and racking up a staggering 537 yards of total offense per contest. Quarterback Drew Aller is emerging as a star, and he'll ensure that Penn State puts plenty of points on the board in this game. Meanwhile, Illinois also possesses a solid offensive unit led by veteran quarterback Luke Altmyer who is fresh off a 31-point outing against another ranked Big Ten team in Nebraska. Illinois may not want to engage in a high-scoring shootout with Penn State, but they have the capability to score between 20 and 24 points, while limiting the Nittany Lions to around 30 points. This should allow Illinois to cover the spread. The total for the game seems a bit low considering both teams have experienced quarterbacks in Aller and Altmaier, and both possess strong offensive weapons. Penn State's tight end, Tyler Warren, is a potential NFL star who is consistently a key target in the middle of the field. Additionally, Illinois running back, Cadden Fijan, is a physical force at 6'3", 250 pounds, and he's tough to bring down once he gets going. While Penn State's defense is formidable, Illinois should be able to score enough to push the game over the projected total. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.